That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> I'm gonna do something good for society right now. Okay, actually. what are you about Everybody to do? drink some water right now. Every okay, I'll get my water bottle as well. Cause we've totally been on these sippy. Yo, cups. cheers with me, mate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nico's been on that sippy cup for a while. This is a sippy cup. This is an adult sippy cup, which I respect still. Yeah. Or or is a sippy cup a baby water bottle? Now think about that. What oh, I just shit, proposed which on the table. First? Which one came first, the chicken or the egg? Which one came first, bro? We will never know. Well, there's something child. Well, I think it's the the, um, the kid water bottle because if you think about it this way, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we want kids to drink water. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what makes them want to drink water? The sucking motion from a titty. Okay. So then these work on me because I feel like my I don't know yeah, like what happened yeah. in my childhood <clears> to make <throat> me want to suck on things so much, but. I do suck. Like, it feels good to me. Yeah. It, so. Well, it's the sucking motion that one is so used to. And then it's constantly implemented throughout your whole life. You know, you're sucking on a titty. You're sucking on a water bottle. It's and a, all of a it's sudden. Primal. It's a primal instinct to 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 to, to, to breastfeed. Uh-huh. Primal instinct to do that. And then you just, you go, you grow up. Literally. So yeah. my tip for anybody that's like, oh, I want to drink more water. First of all, you should be drinking more water because you know what? You put me on this. I put you, you okay. Put on this. Yeah. Honestly, if you think you're drinking enough water, you're, hate to break it to you. You are not drinking enough water unless uh-huh. you actually are. Then you, then you're drinking enough water. But most likely you're not. Yeah. And my tip, if you're a dude, even a girl, if you just have mommy issues and yeah. this only goes out to people with mommy issues and you drink more water. Okay. Okay. Get the sippy cup. This shit. Yeah. And then be like, imagine it's your mom. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I think um, that applies to a very acute amount of people. Well, yeah, maybe but some I like can, yourself. I can only give tips to you people can... that I've like things I've experienced, things you know? that you related I can't to. Give tips to other shit. Okay, how long did so. you breastfeed for? I don't know. I don't fucking know. You don't know. I don't remember a single moment sucking on my mom's boob. Well, I, I, well, well, when do memories start forming? Like when you're at the age of maybe four. Oh, I think around there. Huh? My first memory. Was just me crying at daycare. I would cry. I was the daycare crier. Oh, I was the, I, don't leave me, mommy. I'm crying. Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, the, the thing is, I didn't want to leave my mommy when I was dude, four, dude. That's I so first, valid. When I first came here, like, to Vancouver. From and China? My, yeah, my mom dropped me off at daycare. You know, I would literally go to daycare with zero knowledge of English. I went to daycare, and, like, just, like, the we- first week of, like, coming here. Yeah, and my mom would go to like English class, and I didn't know a single word of English, and and I was just being daycare. And then next year, I just knew English because it was it was like a sur- back to instincts. Ah, it's a survival thing, right? Because if you can't learn English w- amongst your peers, mm. you're gonna fall down the social ladder. Then you're gonna be excluded from the group. And then you have no tribe. Well, well, I don't have that survival instinct now. If you put me in fucking Mexico, I'm not just gonna learn Spanish. I mean, dude, when you're a kid, it's insane. Actually, when you're a kid, you can learn shit so easily. It's like weird. And then when you're 80, well, because your brain fills up, bro. You think that's, but you have a small brain when you're a kid. What mm. is it about kids that like can learn language so easily? Because like, it's so, I, I, it would be so hard for me to learn language well, right I, now, but you drop me in Mexico when I'm three and I fucking. You, you know what I'm I think it like, is? Amigo, amigo. <laughs> it's it's got to be like, when you're a kid, you're a blank slate. So it's easier mm. to fill things up on you because you're used okay. to the English language. You're used to the way our grammar works. Yeah. But I actually remember, like, I because when I was four, I have a couple memories. I'm going to sh- shoot them out to you right now. Yeah. First one is throwing up. Oh. I remember I drank overdue milk. <laughs> overdue milk? <laughs> I drank overdue milk. <laughs> and it was sitting on the counter, so I drank it, and it was overdue. Yeah. And then um, I remember I felt, like, not even... A minute later, I was like, I feel really weird. So my, I remember my mom was taking a shower and I and walked into the bathroom. didn't understand the concept of like the expiry. Yeah. Like you were four. When you were four. Yeah. And then I opened up the door. And I'm like, mom, I feel weird. I just <laughs> threw up everywhere. <laughs> like, I Wait, just got really? like food poisoning. She from was milk. in the shower? Yeah. And it was like a, it was a shower where it doesn't have curtains. It's like a, uh-huh. it's like a glass screen. So I just remember looking at her and she was naked. I just threw Did up. Did you like it? Well, oh, no. your mom was so disgusting <laughs> that you just threw up. You're like, ah, what the... Like, you ever see someone that disgusting? No, no, I never haven't seen that since. And then, um, also remember my parents just fighting all the time. 
but my and third then memory, then I would throw up just yeah. out of it was a natural reaction. My third memory is actually in the womb. It was in the womb. And you know how you can put like, um, actually, I have a like a weird disorder where you do have memories in the womb. Uh, I, like, it's crazy. You, you had the umbilical cord. Yeah, I remember the umbilical cord. You actually I, cut it yourself. I was I like, just went, <laughs> right when I came out. And I remember they strapped up like hearing pads to my mom's stomach or uterus or like whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. And then you know what they said? You know what the first word I heard was? What? I bet you can guess what it is. It's It was popping bees, bro. What's popping bees? What's popping bees? Welcome back to Beer Sauce. My name is Nicholas Potsvat. Do you reckon that you Derek see water bottles? Water soup? bottles. That Healthy was a bit of a weak soup. intro. Weak intro. But me and Derek went out drinking last night. We went to celebrate. How fun was that? We played billiards. Okay, so like, oh, I figured out why I was bad at billiards for like two weeks. Because you're Asian. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah, Asian. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone there's white. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm, like how can I ingrain myself in this white culture? Yeah. And That's at play a billiards. billiards place. Yeah. And like, be good at billiards. So. I had to get in the zone, and I started thinking white thoughts. White thoughts? What were you thinking about? Not leaking it, bro. Oh yeah, you can't think about those white thoughts, bro. Not the no, white. No, no, thoughts. I'm not in my white moment anymore. No, I, you, you, you I had was it. Different me. Because me and Derek did a best of seven. He beat me four two. So this what guy up? Fuck, this guy also, fucking annihilated me. My actual answer is yeah. I actually had to hold the stick farther back. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, well, he's, dude, you leaked the technique. So next time, we, next time we play, I'm gonna whoop your ass, boy. I'm gonna whoop that shit, boy. Well, I don't know. I mean, you might already do it. You might just be already dookie. <laughs> I might already like, that was the first time I did it correctly, and I was fired at the game. Dude, you suck at breaking, though. This guy sucks okay, I don't, at I can't breaking hit it hard. in pool. I, I don't know why you hard. suck so bad. I can't at... hit it hard. Because I can break I, like a I don't, motherfucker. I don't know how to hold it like with my other hand. Look, okay, I, yeah. I learned how to play when I was in like third grade from Jamie from um my daycare. Okay, well, right? Jamie doesn't know shit, bro. Dude, I remember... Jamie, literally one time, I was like, can we play pool? And he shot the eight ball on purpose. And he was like, damn, I lost, bro. I was like, you don't even want to play with me. Why do you work at a daycare if you don't even want to fuck with the oh kids, bro? Oh, my God, dude. Wait, Jamie was an older man? Or is a yeah, kid your no, age? No, no, no. Jamie was like the, the adult. The oh, adult. dude. Jamie didn't want to play with your shit, bro? No. Oh, my God. That's so, so disrespectful. But like, whatever. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, I held it farther back. Yeah. I, but at the same time. I don't, I hold it like with like, I put it through a finger. So when I do like push it, oh, the yeah? friction of my finger. You get finger burned. I get you finger get rope burned. Burn. So if I do it hard, it like, it hurts, bruh. It hurts. <laughs> no, because I, I hold it like, I hold my um yeah. pool thing. Like I kind of do a check mark with my hand yeah, for audio yeah, listeners. I've seen that. And then I just push the. So you don't get road burn. So I don't get fucking road burn. Oh, yeah. I got a burp. Oh, burp it, burp it. Dude, on our way to the billiards place. This has never happened to me in my life, bro. Wait. We were walking. Um, I don't think p- many people know where this place is, but we were walking along Granville in Vancouver to this billiards place. To put Granville, I actually don't remember what happened. Yeah, but I'm just gonna explain Granville. So if yeah, you don't live in Vancouver. Granville is like, I don't know. It's like the busy street, but also at the same time, there's just crackheads everywhere. Now I don't understand why people like Granville. Like obviously, it's mm-hmm. not like. I, I don't like I, I respect the unhoused to a certain extent, but I also don't want to be around them when I'm like wearing like my Rolex watch. I don't have a Rolex watch. <laughs> yeah. If I would, if I did have a Rolex watch, you know what I would stay with them? Granville. Yeah. Well, I think sometimes there's a culture shock for people that come and visit here it's and they so, see Granville. Yeah. And like I will see a businessman riding a Ferrari and right next to him, I will see a guy doing meth. Yeah. It's so interesting. It is a culture shock yeah. like, when people come. It's like, y- how do you explain the fact that we just have like, so many drug addicts on like busy streets no but i'm saying like waves of people i don't like it's i don't not know as bad to... as downtown you side but yeah it um as a, a man i find it entertaining yeah. if i were a woman it'd be scary maybe not as entertaining yeah it would probably be a lot scarier <laughs> yeah. but we were walking along granville this has never worked on me before but uh, I, mar- ads worked on me yesterday like bro ads definitely work on me but subconsciously a, maybe a, a, a billboard and it's like five dollar like blue f- frappuccino like spirulina yeah. uh-huh. or whatever like spirulina okay we had a spirulina i don't know what that i is. don't know if i'm saying it right i don't know what a spirulina and then is. you're like oh shit maybe actually not never maybe it's never been a maybe it's yeah. always been like a, this is just a, a dad yeah it's, yeah, like, it's like get like, this cares? billboard the fuck out of my face well, or sign like, i'm not falling for this yeah it's not even necessarily falling for anything like i'm looking at it i don't want it but it worked on us yesterday because 
there was like I don't if you've ever been on Gramble, you know that there's like a bunch of places that's like a tequila shot, three fifty. Yeah, dude, we were walking outside. We walked um past this bar, and there was a sign that said four dollar green tea shots. We gotta pick up. We that's gotta good. Pick, great. Now dude. to make that at home is like a dollar, but you're if not you're making out, it at home. Yeah, like going to the club and getting a, a shot is like ten bucks. Yeah, so to make it fifty percent off, even more. I'm like, fuck it, it let's crazy. do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And then we walk into this restaurant and it's just awkward as fuck because it's a restaurant. Yeah. I didn't know it was a fucking, re- I thought it was a bar where you could do a shot and then leave. Yeah. But they sat us down. They gave us water. They gave us water. And I was like, like, no lie. I kind of just wanted a shot. You know, and I told her that. Yeah. Though. You did tell her that. I think it was just a miscommunication. You know, like, I, cause the thing is, is I would do the, if I was hosting, I would do the exact same shit. Well, like, also, it's just awkward because, yeah, it is a restaurant. Yeah. And then also, like, the green tea shot, how much alcohol is even in a green tea shot? Also, yeah. it's no, there's not even green tea in it. Why call it a green tea Why shot? Why call it a green tea? It, like, what, there's no green, like... Masturbating analogy incoming. Mas- give me the master... Ah, give me the masturbating analogy. A green tea shot with no green tea. It's like... It's like if you jerk off. hmm And then you come. Yeah. But, like, there's... You don't even get cum. It doesn't feel good. So it's like, no. Well, it's like, that's okay, like a vasectomy. That's, like that's having not coming. A, that's like having a vasectomy. Exactly, bro. It's like green having a vasectomy. And no green tea. That's a vasectomy. But I think when you have a vasectomy, you can still feel the um, cum. Or not the cum. You can, it still feels fire, I think, from my understanding. You know, my dad got a vasectomy. I think. I mean, it feels fire, right? <laughs> like I, no, I think. Like, I could lie right now, but I think he got a vasectomy. How do you like, know that? Like, years ago, bro. But how do you know that? I think, I think yeah. I, he bro told me. I think he's like, dude, you I'm going to get a vasectomy. You saw him jerk off for like five hours and nothing came out. That's how you yeah. know he has a... But, mm-hmm. but so it definitely feels good just because like glands still exist. But to yeah. get a vasectomy means you can't... Actually come. release sperm out of your penis. You can't, er- you can't release ejaculate. So when you so come... It, can it's just, you ejaculate? You can... Like, mm. if you can, can you even finish, or is it just an un, like, never ending stroke? Like, you could have sex for, like, literally f- kind of a days. buff. Well, Actually, no, but, 10 days, kind of a long time. I mean, is it a buff, though? That's like eating but never getting full. You're just going to get fat. Or you have a fire metabolism. But I guess, but if I had a vasectomy, like, if this is true and a vasectomy makes it so you can't finish, yeah, I could just go like this for hours and I would like it. Well, dude, if you if you jerk off long, I heard. I think I I forgot who this happened to. I was listening to this podcast. This guy was jerking off, and he dude, was jerking off for like two hours. Oh yeah, no, wait, <laughs> never mind. Actually, this is beer sauce. This is beer sauce. <laughs> this guy was jerking off, and he jerked off for like two hours, and his dick cloved. What's cloved? Like you know, like a clove, like a, like a clover. His dick cloved, and he had to go to the hospital because he fucking beat it up too much. Yeah, man. I don't. Okay, so like, as in like the whole. Clove? He was too violent with his shit, and he was jerking off for two so hours. So it's like if you got you know, you know those apple cutters and you put it through the apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was like you f- did that to his. That's dick. not possible. No, no, I'm telling you, dude, it is possible. Like it's possible. Like it's like a cheese string, but you split it into four. Yeah, that's it, not no. And he possible. had to go to the hospital. It's yeah. not fucking possible. Okay, well maybe but... he lied about the story. But then right after doing these green tea shots, we probably walk. One minute. There's so many signs, and there was another sign that said tequila shot for three seventy five, which is literally cheaper than the one we just got. Yeah, so we went in uh, instantly. Tequila shot. Did a tequila it, it shot. It was really weird because you know what? I'm gonna give free promo. Flamingo Cafe on Granville has three fifty tequila shots. Yeah. Keep in mind, it is a cafe. It's really fucking awkward taking a tequila shot next to like. Oh yeah, bar. dude. She gave us. She gave us like. A whole nice tray with salt and limes. And then and I was, was like, like, can we do it right here? Well, I don't want to bring it back to a table. I don't want to bring it back to a table, do a shot, and then bring it back. Like, yeah. this is a five-second Also, I'm thing. spilling it, bro. Oh, the, t- the tequila shots are so full. Yeah. You're going to spill a little bit of it. Yeah, so I'm like, can we just do it right here? And she's like, sure. But it's like, it's literally a cafe. There's people studying. <laughs> and we got, it's like, dude, there you, was a study group, like, right next to us. Like, it's like if you walked into a cafe and just, no, that's literally what we did. It was, yeah. it was kind of. Interesting, but that's Granville for you, right? Granville, yeah, they just sell fucking tequila shots at uh, at cafes like that, which they don't really do anywhere else. I don't actually, maybe they do it like, like tequila. I think you're a tequila lover. That's the best shot. I think person. Well, mm, the thing is, is I had a really bad experience with not a really bad experience, but just a mid experience with doing um, shots because I'm not a big like. You can probably honestly count the amount of shots I've done. You don't even like getting drunk. I, well, I know, like, taking I, shots is so you get drunk, but you don't have the bloat. 
Yeah. That's the like, whole point. So I remember I was working at 12 to 8. This was a long time ago. This was like, like yeah. probably two and a half fucking years ago now. I was working a really long shift. A 12 to 8. Then my friend was um, having a party. So I wanted to like go and like, you know, support his party. If your boy's having a party, you pull up to try to support your boy. No, no, just no, to- no. Why, bro? I just don't. What do you mean? So, like, it's like if you if your boys get going to his wedding, you support your boy. But okay, party, you don't have to go to a party. That's equivalent now for twenty year olds. That's the equivalent, bro. Yeah. It's like having a wedding. Okay, but I, okay, I pulled up. I pulled up, and um, I like did not want to drink. Just mm-hmm. you know, that was kind of my thing. I literally brought a ramen bowl with me. So you eat. were raw dogging a party, which yeah, which I could do at that time. Yeah, and um, this guy <laughs> drunk as fuck. He's like, yo, Nico, do a shot, bro. Do a shot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, I don't want to do a shot. Like, no lie, bro. And I still don't like him to this day. I'm going to bleep his name up. Gabagoo. <laughs> and then, yeah, I do not like this guy. And then um, he's like, dude, just do a fucking shot, dude. Do a, just one shot, bro. Dude, come dude, on. Just, just the tip. Babe, babe. <laughs> just, just the Come tip. on, babe. It feels better. Just, babe, it feels better without a condom. Please what don't you, put the tip in, babe. <laughs> babe. Uh... Wait, what even is just the tip, though? Just the tip. Well, this is uh people for who are circumcised. I I, I know that, but because the tip the... the tip for us is just a little skin at the end. That's not that's the tip. <laughs> yeah, like the tip. Oh, okay. that's the tip for Wait, us. So the tip is like the little mushroom. Yeah, yeah, that's the little oh! mushroom at the top. But for us, it's just a <laughs> okay, little. Okay. It's just a little hoodie at the end. That's just Different our tip. game. Yeah, yeah. And then you, did you take the shot? Yeah, he fucking bothered me. <laughs> he bothered me for five minutes. He got peer I actually <laughs> folded under peer pressure. Like, I could not have told this guy. It's because you had negative aura at the time. I have negative. Yeah, okay. You know what? Like, I just, my aura was a dog. Mm-hmm. This guy was drunk as hell pressuring me. You had to pick me. one person. Yeah. And no lie, you just seemed like the easiest person. I seemed like, I seemed, I was the, I was a prey. I was, this guy you was a predator. You were actually prey. And I was the, I was the best prey in stock. Yeah. So I do the shot, feel like shit afterwards but what but they're supposed to make you feel good though no but like i just work like i went into the mentality of this party like i'm not gonna drink i'm not gonna drink i just want to eat my ramen bowl support my boy in his wedding and then leave <laughs> this is the wedding equivalent yeah of it. okay and then he pressured me into doing a shot and ever since then like my i have like trauma around tequila shots bro. no you don't i got over the fear i got over the fear but like i had trauma bro but what is What's the okay, but explain this to me. Yeah. Why did it feel bad? Because I was because you didn't want to. Because I didn't want to, and it was I just worked a 12 to okay. 8, bro. Like I worked a 12 to 8, bro. I'm fucked right but is, now. So you don't like shots now? I like shots now. Like I don't love them, but I can do like But I, do you like getting drunk? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't even like thing, getting drunk. Is I <sighs> like I'm a drunk lover. I okay. My I like getting to the stage just before you get drunk. Oh, tipsy. That's, yeah, because I like the – I like the – because you drink to get drunk. Yeah. I drink for, like, the process of getting drunk. But also, like, I like getting drunk, but I can – I appreciate all the steps, too, yeah. because as soon as – it does improve my mood. Yeah. Like, I'm so much – I mean, this is a recurring theme. I'm so much happier when I drink, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the effect I love, of alcohol. And, you know, I, I love the the process, but, you know, for the climax for me is just being really fucked yeah. up. Yeah, like, I, I, when we, me and Derek have been in bars, I've ordered whiskey neats before, just, and Derek cooks me every time I order a whiskey neat, but I just like that. Okay, so, like, it's like when you smoke weed, you like smoking it. I just like yeah. being hot. I, I actually, I, I have a pen and I don't really like to hit it that much because I actually love the process of lighting I, the joint. I don't understand that. And then it, it's it's the experience of it's a, the experience of lighting the joint, that process of, you yeah. know, either being with your friends or being by yourself, being outside in the midnight lighting that, Okay, the I joint. understand this one a lot more. And, now or even if it. you're at a park. If you're at a park yeah. and it's midday, it's a sunny afternoon, you guys are having a barbecue, oh, let's mm-hmm. smoke a little joint together. It's that process and that and that camaraderie that the ah. joint the joint is the joint is the symbol <laughs> for camaraderie and friendship and family okay. and love. Okay, but a shot is like that too. Like when you're celebrating, oh, like, let's and you're do like, a shot together. And it's like, oh woo! No, with the with the iPhone camera. Woo! woo! Ooh, like that, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you were boomerang. I oh, oh, okay, okay. But it's like the I like the process of drinking with your friends, like the the element yeah, of just yeah, of let's course. let's sit down and have a drink together. I understand you know? that, but you you're saying it like you like you know p- taking the drink, 
you you're saying it like you don't like the feeling that much. You just like the the camaraderie. Yeah, I'm an alcohol edger. I'm an alcohol edger, bro. Okay. And I'm trying to grasp that. Because... No, but I can also totally see where you're coming from. Like with the, I just want to get fucked up. You want to skip the process. No, I like the process. Yeah. But I would r- so much rather, like, if you could hit a vape and get drunk, I would do that. Because I don't actually like the taste. I don't actually I like, like the it taste in my stomach. Of... Yeah. I just like the feeling. I like the taste. And I like the feeling in my stomach, but I don't like the feeling. Okay, there's two people, bro. Yeah. Which one are y'all? Which one are y'all? Um, it's like hair guy <laughs> and fucking skincare and skin guy. Like, you choose one. And the most fucked up I've ever been, like, like <laughs> was that Suda? <laughs> the most fucked up I've ever been was that Suda <laughs> on Gas Town. This wasn't even that long ago. No. This was like how many weeks ago? This, this was, like, was two? like three weeks ago. Yeah, two three weeks ago. I've never been more fucked up in my life. Yeah. The room was like, um, I had like vertigo. Like the room was trippy as hell. It was slanted. When you stood up. No, when I was sitting down. Oh my God, you were fucked. Yeah, because the thing is, is I worked that morning. I worked a 930 to four. Mm. If I'm working at 930 to four, I can't eat breakfast. I just don't have time. And, and then, then you just eat like a, I a, ate a kid's burger. Yeah, however. like I ate a kid's burger. And then. I instantly went home, got changed, and mm. we met up, and we met up with Derek and, and JJ. And that's how you do it. And that's how you fucking do it. I didn't eat shit. And that's and how you do it. We, like, I had a lot of a soju. I had two neutrals. And they were giving us a lot of, um... Free, drink. of free and drinks. And they were giving us free drinks because we're regulars at Suda. Mm. And then I was like, oh shit, I feel so weird The right thing now. is, usually for the average person, it's when you stand up. Okay, so the tears are, if you're fucking sitting down and you feel the world's moving, you're fucked. I was fucked up, you're yeah. fucked. But the next step is, you're not as fucked if you stand up and you feel the world's moving. And the next step is, if you stand up and the world's not moving, but you look at the mirror. And when the you look at the mirror and you're like, oh, I'm fucked up. Like, you're fucked up, but you could be so much more <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> like, okay, because that was the drunkest I've ever been. Did I seem fucked up? No. I Did think I you just mask seem- really well. I don't know why. I, do you purposely mask? No, like I just I purposely mask. I don't I don't mask. I just like the more fucked up I get, the more normal I get. Who would who would have thought? Really? Who would have fucking thought, bro? Huh. Cause I was I'm like, show your dick, and you're like, no. I'm like, I'm like, dude, what I'm do you not mean, gonna no. show my penis, bro. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's fucked up. Because if I'm gonna... sober, I'm showing my dick. I'm yeah. showing this guy my dick. And um, yeah, like, did I just not? Did I seem totally normal? Because that was the most fucked up I've you ever been in my life. Didn't seem totally normal, but you you didn't seem drunk. Like I would not have guessed that was the most fucked up you've ever been in your life. Yeah. Because like, I mean, there's different types of people that are drunk, right? I think some people are very like outgoing and flamboyant when they're drunk and like, yeah. they get on tables and go like look at me i'm on the fucking table i'm on top of the world yeah right yeah and i used to be like that when i was a kid yeah because oh, like come God. on yeah i'm a kid dude when you're a kid you have to get cringe drunk bro yeah you have to get and then you go on your snapchat kid. story and you go oh my god do you think dude. i have those saved bro this this one time derek was so can i leak this shit yeah it's this fine. story oh my god <laughs> derek was so fucked up he was like how old are you 17 maybe must have been I want to say 18. No, because it was after we graduated, so it might have been 19. 18 or 19? Okay, 18 well, 19. he was 18 and a half. fucked up, bro. And this guy... But when I'm fucked up when I was 18, it's different. <laughs> oh, yeah, Because yeah, my yeah. tolerance was lower. Oh, so, dude, so, like a corona, was, a corona. He's fucked up off one corona yeah, when he was one 18. Corona, well, I can still do that now. I just have to really, like, prep my anus. Mm-hmm. Well, you're we'll, allergic we'll to coronas. Into that. Yeah, we'll get well, into Well, oh, I mean, I am allergic to coronas. Yeah. Weird. Weird thing that you're allergic Not to. Not intolerant, maybe. It's just the not something allergic, in the corona makes you have diarrhea. That, literally, corona is the only beer that makes me shit. I don't know what that is. Maybe there's dairy really? in it. I don't. Maybe think like dairy in corona. Okay, so my theory time. Theory time. So like, I'm Chinese. I'm full, fully Chinese. I hope, unless Hopefully. somebody cheated, unless Genghis got to me, unless right? he's got some Mongolian. Unless blood I've in got him. some con in me, just a little right? bit, just a little bit. But con. Corona's Mexican. Okay, mm-hmm. our tribes before had never interacted. And like genetically, I'm just like not this. used to a Mexican brew. I wait, Corona's Mexican? I didn't even know that. Man, if it's not, I'm cucked. If it's not, <laughs> your theory is man, so wrong, bro. Man, if it's not, no. Like they're gonna be like, you think all Latin America's the same? Like, no, guys, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I don't I, I honestly thought Corona was like American. I just I never because, dude, Vin Diesel loves Corona, bro. Dude, that guy's like Mexican, bro. No, I don't know what he is. Dating a Latino girl, dating a Latino girl, dating a Latino girl. He actually is dating a Latino girl. He can say it, he can say it, he can say it, he can say it. Ah! But, dude, 
like Derek was he was on a snap he was he was drunk as hell then this guy pulls out his phone it's and- probably 2 30 a.m at this point and wow keep in mind i'm tucked into bed i didn't even see that De- i like i wasn't out with anyone like i was just at my home watching fucking ninjago or some shit uh-huh. at I, 18 and a half yeah 18 guys we was, weren't young yeah, like yeah. 18 and a half isn't necessarily young like, i did this as an adult technically like i was legal <laughs> you legally could vote yeah so um and <laughs> bro i checked my story at 2 30 a.m he's like yo why'd y'all leave me bro Guys, fu- why'd y'all leave me? I don't know where the fuck I am right now. Why did y'all leave me, bro? <laughs> and, but to be fair, to be why did they leave? Why did you? they leave me? Why did they leave no, you? Like, what? Yeah. I'm the victim. Yeah, why did they leave I'm you? I'm the victim, right? And now. he kept just I don't even remember what he posted, but he kept posting drunk shit. I remember on this because I was I was like um, I was near my house, you know, I was walking down the main street yeah, of yeah. where my house is. And I remember I was wearing that black champion hoodie that I actually was crying in on the Instagram story. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about it. That's for the Patreon. We'll talk about that on the Patreon. That is for the Patreon. We'll explain we, the backstory for that on the Patreon. There's a lot dude. of... Uh, we. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that recently we've been posting really old Snapchats <laughs> of us. And um, we're going to go into all that on the Patreon because every episode of Beer Sauce is 30 minutes longer. So find the Patreon if well, you want to know all the backstory. Also, like follow the instagram because it's so there's a video of me crying when i'm like 16 oh yeah yeah you gotta catch it actually dude by the time this episode's out that that video will be long gone so fuck it there's so many more videos of me crying i used to like be like the biggest attention whore of all time i used to take you know like the stereotype is like girls take videos of them crying Mm -hmm. i was the girl yeah, you did that. You did that, and then he sent them around. I literally like would take. I, there's so many videos of me crying. I honestly, I, I you don't even know this because I was so embarrassed. My like, I've never told anybody. Like God, sending that video of me crying like took a lot of courage. What do you mean took a lot of courage, bro? No, like like yesterday when I sent that video of me crying. To you, oh, like when I was 16. It took a lot of courage because yeah. I was watching it and I was like physically hurting on the inside of how cringe it was. No, it yeah, was it was cringe. And he's done, he has like six of those, bro. No, dude. You have a lot of them. I have like 20. Oh my God, dude. You um, gotta leak them on the Patreon, that bro. I'm going like, I, I, you know what, fuck it. Yeah. I'll post one right now. I'll post one okay. on the Okay, rate, let's bro. go, let's do it. Do but it. I'm walking down the street and I'm like, y'all, like, I'm so drunk <laughs> right now. And then I probably, you know, this is around the same time if you watch the uh, Derek's embarrassing voice message episode. Oh, the drunk voice message episode. It was around the same time where I was doing that. So then I probably also sent that voice message to her, like, you know, oh my God, I just think we're so special, but you don't like me back, blah, blah, blah. I was a chronic drinking and then get on socials guy. <laughs> dude, dude, like, that's crazy. That was my bro. shit. And guess, honestly, at the time, thought it was the funniest shit ever. I still think it's the funniest shit ever. No, bro. but it's crazy. Did you think it was funny? Because of like, haha, well, what a fucking loser. Or did you think it was funny because like, it's funny? Both. Like half of my brain, dude, the left side's like, this guy is sad. Yeah. And then the right half is like, but it's so funny too. Like he is funny for doing this. It was like a mix. I Man, always I... thought you were cool. I say that all the time. I always thought but you were exactly, cool. Exactly. Because I had that. It's like if Timothy did it, we'd all think it's funny. If Timothy did it, it's fucking hilarious. But if Amy bro. Schumer did it, we'd be like what a fucking loser yeah like so thankfully you thought i was cool but there was like people from high school on my snapchat like the popular girls and stuff they all like, saw that dude i know they screenshotted that sent to the group chat probably and they were like bro. what a fucking loser yeah should i suck him off right now <laughs> yeah and nah, you really thought that was and gonna that's work. really i really thought that would happen so you thought you posted videos of you crying you you thought you'd pull up to the next day in school and everyone would be like oh is he okay he's so mysterious like, he was crying on a snapchat last night no, you thought like, that was the play yes yeah like i don't know why i don't know how i became like i don't know how i came to that conclusion but in my head posting a video of me crying on my snapchat story will result in everybody going up to me and all like the hot girls (laughs) going up to me and being like oh my god Derek, are you okay Mm -hmm. and they would go like this and i'd be like oh i'm okay oh (laughs) like that like that's that's what i thought and then like the hot teacher would come up to me and be like you look like you need some extra help tonight. I saw your story, and then we would fuck, okay? Yeah, and yeah. I was delusional. Yeah, I mean, it was a delusional thing to do, but but you'll never do it again. Because there's motherfuckers that are, like, 25 and still do that because they didn't do it when they were in high school. So I might do that. I didn't do that when I was in high school, so I might do it when yeah. I'm 25. When you start getting, like, more drunk, yeah, like, I'm deleting your Instagram, bro. No, like, dude, please. I don't know what you're going to do on Instagram because you didn't take, do it when you were Take my kid. phone. Take my phone, yeah. dude. Take my fucking phone. But I, I thought we were past that period of you getting all fucked up 
and then you doing weird shit on your phone. I thought we were past <laughs> it. You're such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I what? thought we were past it, dude. I thought we were dude. fucking past it. But you know what? Okay, you here's <laughs> Okay, so you need reminders <laughs> of your roots to your roots to your, your roots. roots. <laughs> you need reminders to your roots, bro. You need yeah, to be yeah. humble sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's you true. were too up. You had to be humble. Like it's it's a good thing to be humble. You need reminders, bro. Yeah, yeah. And so when was this? This was a couple months ago, maybe. Maybe three, like four months ago. <laughs> early February. Yeah, I never thought I would see this shit again. But I never. I also this has never happened ever. But Derek got so fucked this is, up, this bro. Is really, he got so fucked up. He did like. I thought we were past this era of him, like, getting fucked up and then doing shit on his yeah, phone. Yeah, if you guys saw my balls on my story, this is the yeah. context why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> D-E-R-E-K-K-Z-H-U at Instagram, and guys. And then Derek starts drunk texting me. He's never drunk, te- drunk yeah, texting like, me fuck, ever. Fuck, I need you. I need you right now. Yeah, I need you. Dude, I, fuck, fuck dude, me. Fuck he, me. He, fuck he, me. He, wanna dude, fuck? Wanna fuck? Fuck? Wanna fuck? fuck wanna fuck? fuck. Dude, it's, it's, you want to come over? He sent me that, do you want to come over text, bro? Like, I, okay, let me find these. It's they right. are so I mean, funny. So what happened was we were doing a promo event for a like club type thing it wasn't it's not a club but you know i'll just say that it's it's like a a place you can drink it's like a bar um and we had bottle service and obviously i'm gonna drink every shot that gets poured to me because it's free bottle service no this guy financially it would have been fucking stupid of me if I didn't drink it. How many shots you have? 17, I think. How many? 17 shots, 18 shots you had. Right? I had like, well, dude, somebody brought in a white lightning, a full <laughs> bottle of white lightning, and it was gone. And, and, and guess what? The guy that brought it in didn't really have that much. It was him, bro. The guy it that was, brought it in, don't even know. You are the danger, bro. I drank like half a white lightning. If you guys don't know what white lightning is, it's literally a 50% vodka for like $8, which is like f- so financially literate of bro. It tastes like that. shit. It tastes but... like shit, but we had pineapple juice. Yeah, so you chased it with pineapple juice. Also, Derek didn't eat anything because he does this. Like, I do this yeah. thing. Okay, so like, you know, I'm like not like in a space where I need to be super frugal, but yeah. I am with certain things. Mm-hmm. For example, like, you know, I don't pay parking. Yeah. Like, I'm so stubborn about that. Yeah. But then I'll like go buy like fucking, I don't know, neutrals like a six pack for like seventeen dollars, right? Yeah. Like I'm only I'm frugal with some things. Yeah. And one of them is drinking. Mm-hmm. Um. And for me, like, it's so much cheaper to drink at home and pregame and then go to the bar. Yeah. Right. And I've always done that uh-huh. because I, like, pregaming has been a thing for a long time. Oh, dude, I pr- like, dude, you always got to pre- if you don't yeah. pregame, you're financially illiterate. Dude. Yeah. But then also to make myself more, save more money by what if i go to clubs if i go to bars if i go out <clears throat> mm-hmm. is to not eat because if you don't eat then the wa- i don't fucking know actually the science but if you don't eat the alcohol hits better and it hits yeah. faster well because there's less i think the alcohol doesn't soak up um like if yeah. you eat a lot of bread before you get drunk you're just not you're getting just, drunk like, and then like, just, like what are you doing and you just spend 100 bucks and not get drunk like yeah. you literally could have just like not spent that money mm-hmm. and been the same drunk yeah and i've had I mean, recently I've had trouble getting drunk. This was, I mean, this story is from a while ago, but recently yeah. I've had a long time or I have some trouble getting drunk. I literally spent like 70 bucks with my girlfriend like a couple weeks ago and I didn't even feel a single thing. So damn, bro, you got to get the, the tolerance is kind of high right now. Yeah, but I know like how to lower your tolerance. This is my tip and it's not healthy. I'm not saying it's healthy, but financially it honestly is. It's financially healthy, but is it healthy for your mind and body? Yeah. Probably not. I uh, just eat breakfast. That's it. Cut yourself off and don't eat for the rest of the day. When you have like one beer, you're going to get absolutely fucked up. It's amazing. It's great. <laughs> it's the best feeling ever. So it's this, this, these texts, um, this was at 12, 21 a.m. That's no, not even that late. No, but the the backstory is Derek drunk. Stop! Called. Stop! Stop! <laughs> dude, What's the backstory? The backstory is okay, Derek was so. Stop! Fun. Dude, Derek. Let me was I need, I need more context. Okay, okay. I need to give okay, him more context. Okay, I'm okay. embarrassed. Okay. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. <laughs> like we calculate, fifteen shots is a lot, y'all. Oh no! It, no, I think it was more than fifteen. I it's think it was so seventeen much. or eighteen. And you know what? It was free. Yeah. Okay. And you would do the same. You would do the same thing. And you know what? You know what? Like I, I, I've, and this was a, a time where you know I was working on being emotional. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. No, so, this this so, was during the time where you where where you were trying to be more emotional as a, a, a emotionally exactly. aware person. So so so, so <laughs> obviously, when I'm drunk, I'm gonna you know yeah. that, all that work is gonna come <laughs> and all that work showed. Yeah, you know yeah. That, no. But that means all the work. Yeah, started all the work showing. showed. Exactly. So I'm a good guy. I'm a good so guy. So Derek, call drunk called, who is now his girlfriend. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. 
Dude, I, I am well, the I reliable like, narrator well, no, in this story. No, I don't actually. Because you texted your girlfriend, who, who was now your girlfriend. You were like, oh, I'm so fucked up right now. I'm so <laughs> fucked up. I'm so fucked up. And then she called you. And and you could, like, not talk on the phone. Okay, so I, no, no. But if I text you, I'm so fucked up, that's a good thing. Okay. Oh, you're a responsible adult. Yeah, responsible adult. No, no, but also, like, if I'm, like, I'm so fucked up, and I, if I text you, I'm so fucked up, you're, like, proud of bro. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. proud of you, like, nice. Nice, let's fucking right? go. Let's that's what here. I thought the reaction would be from her. But the reaction was worry. Yeah. So she called you, and then I picked up the phone, I talked to her, and I was like, yo, I'll make sure... He will be okay. I make sure, I'll make sure he's home safe. <laughs> and then and Bucky everything. took the phone. Yeah. And then <laughs> another one of our friends took the phone and was like, don't worry. I got bro. He yeah. actually had he you. Had me. And um, they had me. Y'all had me, which I respect. Yeah. It's really embarrassing to get to be the guy that you got to take care of. Because, <laughs> bro, bro, dude, at one point in you the night, are, no, Derek no, no, no. was hanging on no, to me. No, and he was but, like, dude, I'm fucking drunk. But you right weren't now. taking care of me. Why? Well, I'm you, also at the you, same time. You physically supported my body yeah not the same thing okay not the same shit not the same shit i mean i did have to take care of you a little bit on text well i'll read them oh guys i haven't even got guys, into reading okay, this but yet dude, dude. dude but if this didn't happen okay fuck you know what i could have totally lived without this you're right <laughs> so Man, no. i i said at 12 21 yo can you actually text me when you're home because i had to leave i had work the next day and i yeah. get up at six and i was or like dude i'm fucking so drunk i can't waste this and then derek's girlfriend texted me Dude, and she's dude, like, dude. yo, how is it going? Is That's he so okay? That's actually so embarrassing. And then, <laughs> guys, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I swear to God. And then, and then I, and then I was like, yo, Derek, like, I'm going to, I'm going to text your girlfriend back. And, 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 and you know what's the embarrassing part? What's up? It's okay if that's actually your girlfriend. Yeah. This wasn't my girlfriend at yet, the time. Yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no, but like still. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's embarrassing. And then you said, at 12.38 a.m., you said, please don't embarrass me. Like, no, I'm so mean? fucking embarrassed. I dropped the strong, the strong bone, whatever that means. Oh, I, then... I, I bought... <laughs> Dude, the Dude, next I one's bought, crazy. I bought, like, a stromboni, Dude, and, and then... I dropped it. At 12.39 a.m., Derek says... Oh, my God, this is crazy. I don't <laughs> like this, this crazy. bro. <laughs> you, like, it's not even say, funny to me. You say... On God, I'm in love with her. On God. Okay, please. That's fuck. Cute. That's so cute. And then I say, yo, guys, it's cute. It's, cute. it's so cute. Up. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Guys, and then that's I actually say, cute. That's actually yeah, cute. It's so cute. No, like imagine some the, some girl you were talking to got drunk and texted her, her best friend. I love him. I love him. That's so cute. That's, that's cute. so cute. That I, would, cute. I, would, I would pay like $1,000 to have that happen. Okay, and exactly. Then, exactly. Okay. And then yeah. I say, yo, actually text me or blank Derek's girlfriend when you're home and then you say i'm so embarrassed and i say dog i'm telling you right now you have no need to be embarrassed she loves you and then now you go on a rant not a rant but you go at 12 hate- at 12 50 a.m you go dude please dude please um she's not even texting me okay dude, i'm okay, kind of okay, anxious done. No, no, shut the fuck up <laughs> i'm done i'm done, I'm done. are you I'm actually done, done? <laughs> like, are you actually no like i'm not done but i need like a minute <laughs> okay okay we'll take a pause <laughs> guys okay i'm, I'm let's need, process I'm what's going myself. Myself. Okay, defend yourself defend yourself Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, listen. I'm, dude, my listen, ears listen. are wide open. I'm listening. So, Everyone's you know, ears are open. Guys, know, your, eyes are, your, your, your ears are open, right? You know, you know, you know. So, I'm a confident guy. But I'm definitely a lot more confident externally than internally. Okay? I play this character. I play, uh, and, you know, the ego is actually based on a lack of self-esteem. And I'm coping with my self-esteem because of my ego. Okay, that's just it's a context. So I'm humanizing myself. Let yeah, humanize yeah, yeah. Myself. Humanize yourself, so, bro. Everyone can make. Everyone then, makes mistakes. Exactly. And um, I guess in this scenario, I, I have this thing where I, and obviously it's showing right now where I really don't like being embarrassing or cringe. Yeah. Like it's it's. <clears throat> it's I mean, like I don't a, think like anyone likes mind. being embarrassing or cringe. Yeah, but I think mine's a bit worse than others. So yeah. after I started doing all that. I started becoming self-aware and being like, oh my God, it was so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It was so embarrassed. Like, I, I became self-aware of that. And then I was like, f- calling myself a bitch in my head. Yeah. Which was... Everything you're saying right now is valid. You're you're on the defense right now. But, but No, but dude, it's embarrassing. Dude, at the time you were a 21-year-old guy. This was six months ago. Dude, it's fu- dude six months ago, you can learn in six months, bro. And this, like, dude, you just got too fucked up. That's fine. That, like, happens to everyone, bro. 
I got too fucked up in Suda, but did I drunk text anyone? No. No, you you masked it. I masked it really and well. And you know actually. what? I, I masked... I actually don't mask good. <laughs> I was going to yeah, say I, I mask pretty well. I mean, well. guys, I, I know he doesn't mask good. Dude, I know I was, he doesn't mask No, but mask even good. now, I was going to say I mask well now, but if you drink with me and you know me and we get drunk, and if I start saying, okay, like, I know this isn't politically correct, but I am not masking at all, and I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> and, and then, okay, let me start here. So I said, she loves you, and then you say, dude, please, dude, please. I'm, she's not even texting me. I'm kind of anxious. No lie, but I'm good. Dude. And this line hits really hard. Stop! <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so scared to fuck it up. Whoa. That line hits. That line hits. I'm so scared to fuck it up. At 12.51 a.m. That's actually deep. That's uh, actually deep. How do you That's feel, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that statement? I'm so scared to fuck it up. This was six months ago. I think when there's, um, you're not actually fully committed in a relationship, you know, you're, there's less security. Yeah. And as somebody, um, as an ex-gaslighter manipulator, you know, it comes natural. It's too natural, in fact. Yeah. So, it, you, it's your passive. It's, <laughs> it's your passive. <laughs> Dude, it's literally, it's literally I hate passive. to use a video game reference, but it's literally it's his passive. It's literally Dude. my passive. Yeah. So I have to, like, actively, you know, counter my passive. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I have to counter pick it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... I guess at the time, since there was less security, I was worried that, you know, my <laughs> passive would become too strong or it would show and something about me would show that's unattractive. So that's manipulating, gaslighting, anger, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and this was before you have the security of being in a committed relationship. So I guess that was the underlying insecurity that I had throughout yeah. this whole thing. Now I'm understanding. How did you, how did you beat that insecurity though of, of you're scared to fuck it up? Did you even beat that insecurity? Uh yeah, uh, yeah, a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. because now I, I, in a fucking committed relationship, relationship. it's yeah. been like four months. Yeah, and like you have just more security. Like you know, mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. like the the more secure, and you're more advanced in your relationship, and you've shown a lot of the sides like mm-hmm. that you've never shown anybody, and they're still there, and it's just like literally. It's like um reinforcement, it's positive reinforcement. Yeah, it, it's it's someone who understands your f- f- your flaws and faults, yeah. but yet still has exactly. the patience and love to work through it with you, exactly, and work on it with you, exactly. Is anything a man could ask for, exactly. Truly. Would, so like, actually, you know what? I'm not embarrassed anymore. He's not. We we cured his embarrassment. But it is also like fucking up and then realizing that they understand. Yeah, it's like like I fucked up. Yeah. I always, I'd be fucking up still. I, yeah, I'd be fucking up fuck on a still. regular fucking basis. Yeah. I'd be fucking up, dude. Yeah. But then you learn from it. Also, now you guys know how to work on that. Yeah. And if anything, it grows you closer together. Yeah. Having a fight can sometimes grow you closer it together. Is. It is. Yeah. Because it's also, I mean, depends how the fight goes. But if it's communicative and you work as a team, that it really, yeah. like, you guys leave the fight, like, really in a better place yeah. than how you started. Or yeah. even, like, before, like, the fight so that's like it is important to like fuck up sometimes and i think you've worked a lot on your conflict resolution yeah and obviously everyone can slip up Uh everyone can fucking slip up but every every time you slip you you don't fall as much the passive bro yeah it's his passive ability it it takes effort i used to just think that like i was under the impression that like oh like i'm just better now but then you fuck up and you're like, holy fuck, wait, you actually have to work at these things. You don't just get better because you change your mindset. It's yeah. actually applying. And you're not in therapy, so it's even harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. true. Because like I'm I'm raw dogging the b- development. Do you ever want to go back to therapy? I, I mean, like, I feel honestly, like. Honestly, like, the answer was yes a yeah. month ago. I'm going no again. So you don't think you like, obviously, we don't know what the future holds, but you don't no. think you'll ever go back to therapy? Because I'm in therapy every no, week, y'all. It. It, that shit's fire, dude. No, I doubt it. I I think what people generally assume about me is like, oh my God, his child was so fucked up. He has to be fucked up. Like, not really, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like my life is great. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I think you can recognize that. Right? The external, your external factors are pretty, you've, you've won the lottery. Yeah. Right? Like the only thing that I actually am working towards is like just being a better partner. Yeah. I don't think I need to pay $150 a day for that or like a session for that yeah i think i can just work on it myself i can work on it with my partner but mm-hmm. everything else in my life i don't actually need to be therapized for it just is one thing that you want to work on and right now that 150 dollars 
is not worth. Dude, not really, bro. Like, that yeah. shit is fat, and I'm not insured. You, do oh, I look like I'm insured, guys, bro? Guys, does it look like we have insurance at Beer like, Sauce? if I died, We got no dental, bro. Dude, if I died, y'all would get zero bucks, because I have... I'm not an insured brother. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you gotta get insured, brother. I don't even go to the dentist, because oh, yeah. I'm not insured, and I'm not raw-dogging a teeth payment. You know what? I'm gonna do Listerine every night, and I'm gonna call it a day. You don't even floss, bro. I'm you gonna... don't even floss. That's kind of... Actually, I don't even like... That's the one thing that I don't like about you, bro, is that you do not floss. Nasty, boy. It's not that nasty. Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it is. Dude, one time I slept over at fucking Derek's house. I'm pretty sure I said this on the show like a year ago. I made this guy floss. First tooth he okay, flosses just what's starts nasty bleeding. nasty about it? What's nasty about not flossing? I'm telling you right now, bro. Dude... This is why Derek is, this is the fucking weirdest paradox ever. You won't use an air dryer in a public washroom because it's too dirty because you saw that one TikTok, but you won't floss even though every doctor recommends no, it. Where's the TikTok? Where's the TikTok recommending it, huh? Dude, if that TikTok recommended it, I would do it. Because it's so much, it's such common knowledge to floss that you don't think you would need to make a TikTok, bro. That's why. Okay, then I'm not fucking flossing until a doctor makes a TikTok saying, this is what's hiding under your plaque. And I'll be like, holy shit, I'm going to floss. I need to be like motivated. I need to be motivated by a professional. You're motivated by the fear of what's behind your teeth. Right now you're living in ignorant bliss. I know, like I'm not looking like at, like I'm not getting a microscope and looking in between my teeth. But yeah, if someone yeah. did for a TikTok, I'd be like, holy oh, that's shit, nasty. Yeah. that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. And then I would do it. Okay. Any doctors in the chat? Doctors in the Dentists chat. Dentists in the chat. Can you make British a... people back me up? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then Derek says, I'm so scared to fuck it up. So That's I go, neat. I just go, yo, I'm here. I'm and then here. I fucking died. And then you say, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> Dude, this is like. So I crazy. love you. I love you. Cute. Cute. He's saying he loves me. Cute. And I say. I actually meant to send that to Herdo. No, I'm just <laughs> Fucking asshole. And then, and then I say, dog, you didn't fuck it up. I love you so much. She probably went to bed. It's like four for her. Or she might be pooing. True, because when you poo, you go on TikTok. You know, I feel like it's kind of like wrong. I feel wrong responding to texts on the toilet. It's like, I'm like crowning a fucking piece of shit. And I'm texting like, yo, what you trying to do? Oh, I send my voice messages while I'm crowning, bro. Yeah, doesn't it feel wrong? It feels good. Oh, it's okay. like because they, they don't a know. Plumpkin. They don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> they don't know I'm crowning, bro. Okay, okay, I guess. <laughs> and then you say it's only one, 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 one. Whatever that means. I think what happened was I probably gleaked on the screen and it and it you hit gleaked. one. And then you like, go you know, one of the screens when it types. <laughs> I gleaked on the screen. And you go, I'm safe, by the way. I'm safe. So then I say, Thank you for letting me know. Heart heart emoji. I'm telling you, as a people pleaser who overthinks, there's a reason reasonable explanation for her not responding. This is like actually hard. To then you say, to. "Thanks, King. I love you, King." <laughs> and then you say, "Why was at two twenty one a.m.?" Oh, you this go, was like an hour later. Yeah, I'm sober. What the fuck happened? <laughs> and then at three eleven, you go so home right now, <laughs> dude. That that post. Oh my, you know what I... And that's uh, it, that's that's it. I, I, I have this thing where I, I'm very embarrassed of my behavior when I'm drunk, which is why I, like, try to mask as much as I can. Yeah. I couldn't, obviously, because I was 17 shots in, but, <laughs> like... I don't, if I ever got 17 shots in, I would get alcohol fucking poisoning. I don't know how you were chilling. I just built up a tolerance throughout my life. Yeah. But what happens is I'll, like, take videos of us drunk. I'll be like, yo, what up? Or, like, for example, we went to karaoke the other week, right? Yeah. I took a bunch of videos. And I, it's, like, physically hard for me to watch the videos back. I hate watching videos of me when I'm drunk, even if I'm acting normal. Do you have Do you have the text that you sent to your girlfriend when you were drunk that night? February 11th? Do you have those texts? February 11th. Check for, okay, can we take a pee break? Really, and then let's check. No, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to take a pee break. Then let's check. Just check. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my god, dude, this There's guy no has text. no drunk text. I was so fucking excited. Okay, but I wasn't that. I don't think I was that drunk to drunk text that. Yeah, like you know how fucking drunk. Honestly, I don't even think there's a level of drunk where I will drunk text somebody I'm not in a relationship with. But like, like, I you used to do that. 
Yeah. I've never, you know but what? But also, like, dude, like, that was, like, the first woman to touch my cock, bro. I had to, bro. You know, that's different, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. different. It's different. You know, it's the different. first woman that ever touches your cock, you're allowed to. You're allowed, you're allowed to. to. You're, you're say, allowed like, to fold, bro. You're allowed to fold every time you drink. Yeah. It's the first ever cock touch. Yeah. That's, that's it's change a phenomenon. A man, change a man's life. Yeah. You, you went from a boy to a man. That's, she that's was it. your man maker. Ah. Yeah. yeah. We know a guy that had a man maker. Do we? Oh, my God, we do know a fucking guy that had a man-maker. We can't even leak his name, though. That's crazy. We do. No. We know a guy that had a man-maker. He pulled up to this girl's, I guess, woman's, this milf's man house. A man-maker is um, when after a certain age, <laughs> you just have to have sex because you're still a kid, mm-hmm. and your dick hasn't been touched at, like, 24, and you're, like, a, co- a child, and you're like, fuck it, I need to be turned into a man. So you contact the local man-maker. Yeah, the local man-maker. Search man-maker on Craigslist. It's a prostitute, basically. Well, this one was but it's on the man maker. Yeah, this one they met on Tinder, and then he. I remember he, she bought him an Uber from his house to hers. Then he had sex with her, then walked home like a two and a half hour walk. Just walks mm-hmm. home, and he probably busts in like ten seconds. Oh yeah, dude. I do like, that. If now. it's the man maker, you're gonna bust in ten. Dude, the seconds. man maker will has that's her passive. To busted. make you bust in 10 fucking and seconds, you, man, bro. Like, balls drop as soon as you bust. Yeah. Dude, I've never actually sent... Uh, a, I don't think I've ever drunk texted anyone. Have I drunk texted somebody? I don't think I've ever drunk texted anyone. You know, anyone. that's bullshit because you didn't drink in high school. All right? That's like yeah. me being like, yeah. oh, I've never um, liked a girl, but I went to a all-boys school. You know? I'm just not in the environment, too. It's not... You're not set up for success. Exactly. In that regard, right? Like, if you're drunk in high school, bro, you're fucking folding to literally any woman that ever Snapchats you ever. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. It's the phenomenon. Dude, it's the fucking man-maker phenomenon, yeah. dude. So, yeah. it's literally just an environment thing, man. You would have done it, bro. I promise you. Do you, you. think I'll ever... Do you think that it'll reach a point where I'll ever do that? No, it's or do you a think I've, you think thing. I've passed? It's it. a childish thing. Also, if if I ever attempt to do that, you better slap me in the. It's fucking a childish face. thing. You're, I don't think it's we even... gotta set up boundaries. If I'm drunk, okay, I'll throw your phone. No, don't throw it. It's an expensive okay, piece okay. of thing. But just hold but it's it on that, your But then, how are you supposed to learn that the, the shattered That's glass true. on the back of your phone is going to be a sign? It's going to be a like, constant reminder. I was a bitch, like the shattered glass on your phone. Yeah, this is a constant reminder that I was um fucking like absolutely insane yeah what i've never seen the back of my phone this is what it looks like okay the story okay so here's the story i give well you know because like did it show up on camera like that is the the most fucking shattered thing i've seen in my life dude okay y'all want to i was with him when he did that okay y'all want to know the real story and the fake story or you want to know the fake story and the real story like what's up because my fake story (laughs) yeah is that i smashed my phone because I wanted to slow the phone down so I wouldn't be addicted to social media and TikTok. Oh, yeah. That's the fake story. That's the fake story I tell, like... No, no, the fake story I tell the parents is, oh, my God, I just dropped it so many times. Yeah. Now, the fake story I the do... The parents? Hmm? Plural? If I meet parents. Oh, I thought you were talking about your mom. Oh, oh no. What? I'm really honest with my mom. Oh, you... yeah. I turn into dad and then, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, quick, what? quick dad, quick dad passive activated. Yeah, that's my alt it's mom. Like you're going to get mad at me for marrying him and making a kid with him. Like, he gave it to me. Mm-hmm. It's your fault, mom. Yeah. But then to parents, when I meet parents, like, oh my God, Derek, what happened to your phone? Like, oh, hey, girlfriend's parents. Yeah, I actually just drop it a lot. I'm so clumsy. Huh? I'm so quirky. Your eyes look so much like Natalie Portman. Sorry, let me continue my story. Um, <laughs> You're the Natalie Portman is crazy. <laughs> Sorry, continue your story. Um, And the story I tell people on the episodes and stuff, because <coughs> I want you guys to think I'm cool and I have like a big ego. Yeah. And I'll literally lie to make you guys think I'm cooler than I really am. It's the TikTok thing. Oh, I smashed it to get off TikTok. Okay, yeah. the real thing is, I used to be like really lazy. Um, and when you're really lazy, you don't do anything and you have like no motivation to do anything. You just become depressed. Yeah. But like, you know, obviously depression's a real thing. Trust me. I know. Dad killed himself. Dad killed himself. Dad killed himself. Yeah. Some of y'all don't have it though. Some of y'all just got to go on a walk. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all just got to eat breakfast. Well, as a person with depression, you've sometimes been able to recognize. I didn't people... have depression, bro. I just fucking was lazy. If I actually oh, you went thought out... you had depression, I, but it, you I, were I just knew lazy. I didn't have depression. I told you guys I had depression, so you guys wouldn't think I was lazy. Were you afraid that I would judge you? Yeah. Because the thing is, you know what's crazy? I know you're lazy. 
I still love you, bro. <laughs> I still love you. you. I know you're hella lazy, and bro. And I'm a proud lazy now. Yeah, yeah. I'm a proud lazy. Yeah. But then, what was my fucking point? Actually, so basically, I was really lazy and I was like depressed. But you know, I just should have went on a walk, maybe. Yeah. That would have fixed literally everything. Mm-hmm. Like my first walk ever fixed me. Yeah. Like that was you it. never tried it. You never thought that was no. a thing that you could do. Exactly. And then basically, I also was um. In a very triggering relationship, my fault, not hers. And, Mm -hmm. you know, when you get mad, you throw the phone on the ground a lot. I was with you when you were beating it up, kind of. That was like the seventh beat up. Damn. Yeah. Like, there was like a two-week span where I was beating the shit out of this. Because I remember uh, it was already a little bit beaten up. And I was like, oh, dude, what the fuck happened to your phone? Uh And you're like, I don't actually remember what you said. I was probably like, man... Fuck, like, or I think what you said was something along the lines of like you had a bipolar episode. Not true, by the way. Yeah, and not then true. and then I just wanted an excuse. Yeah, to, to be throw a fucking your asshole. Yeah, and then um you and then I remember we were outside walking and I was yeah. like, dude, what the fuck happened like, to your phone? Fuck it. And, and I then just you were like, it. you were like, dude, I don't even give a fuck, and you just kept throwing it and uh-huh. throwing it at the ground. At the time, was dying laughing. Thought it was the funniest it, it, shit it, oh, ever. Come on, it's so it was fucking so funny. fucking funny like, in the moment. Yeah, and I still like. My phone's fucked. But you know what? It does make me use it less. Like, it's so wet. Oh, your phone's fucking so so slow. And it pisses me off so much, though. So did it even do anything? Because it it still makes you mad. No, it makes me more mad now. Yeah, so it wasn't worth breaking it. If I, like, had to call 911, best know, like, it's going to take long, bro. Dude, like, I just need y'all to know. Like, when you know when I would take pictures yeah. and like people just spam the picture, like the button to take the picture? Yeah. I can't do that. I can only take one picture at a time. So it's like, if I ever meet Pete, if I ever do meet Pete, you got to use my phone. You got to use your phone because mm-hmm. I can only take one fucking picture. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So this guy was breaking the fuck out of his phone. Uh, thought it was hilarious in the moment. Thought it like, now it, looking it back. It was hilarious. Then it got sad, but now it's hilarious. Yeah, now again. it became a hilarious again. Wait, why yeah. were you just breaking your phone? Just because you were mad and you needed to take it out on something? I was like very angry all the time. You were in an angry spot. But what made me angry <laughs> was my ex. Like you would never make me angry, but it's yeah. also because it's a different relationship and it's less triggering. Yeah. But there's something so triggering about my previous relationship that made me angry <coughs> literally twenty four seven. Is it a can I ask, is it a is it triggering for every romantic relationship no, or just that one? That one. Hmm. And it was because, you know, we should have broken up nine million years before we actually did. But then yeah. you know Dude, that's a canon event. You postpone a L yeah. relationship. If you don't postpone an L relationship, you might be doing it right now. Yeah, you might if be you've doing never it. Never done it. You might be doing it right if now. If you've never done it, if you're like, dude, I'm n- I would never do that. You might be doing it currently, bro. Don't tell anyone, though. Shh. But, but then one of the signs of like postponing, like after you hit like a year of postponing, you just start throwing shit. Yeah. So he was just chucking yeah. his phone up in the it air. It was just a symptom of the postponage. Yeah. It's not my fault. It's yeah. not my fault. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's it. It was just a trigger. And then bro had to take it out on his phone, throw it way up in the air. Yeah, and you and know then- what? I, 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 I wouldn't like slam it. I would go like this. Like, I would, would alley-oop it. He would alley-oop it in the air, but then no one would grab it and dunk it. Yeah, like, dunk right? that shit. That yeah. would have been really funny if you dunked it. If I do, you know why? You know what, though? I'm glad your phone didn't break, because then we would have lost all of the f- fire, cringe Snapchat and old cameras. Nah, and iCloud crying. backup. I don't have an iCloud. Too much, bro. It's too much money. What, are we going to pay $5? It's free, dumbass. No, it's fucking not. iCloud's like $5 a month, bro. No, it's bro. not. No fucking way. It's, fucking it's, only, it's only $5 a month if you have, like... 50 million gigabytes you have to like buy more gigabytes but the default iCloud is free because whenever I get a new phone they just back it up into yeah you're supposed to that that's iCloud I got two point I got I got 2.6 of 5 gigabytes using my iCloud does my mom see all the because me and my mom are on the same phone plan right now will she Uh, see my on the plan it doesn't matter but if you're on the same iCloud oh fuck then yeah she'll see like your fucking my dick pics dude what if my dick pic is in the cloud right now Dude, my dick pics are in the fucking cloud right now. I have 13,000 photos and 3.4K videos. On your phone currently or in the cloud? Both. I have everything in the cloud. Yo, don't hack me, please. Hack oh, God. This guy's no, shit. actually don't. Dude, you, if y'all want to see his humongous balls, privacy, if y'all want to see his big balls, hack his That's shit. That's actually a, such an invasion of privacy because I'm like <laughs> not packing enough to like get hacked and be proud of You're it. You're not anymore. Drake. 
No, exactly. But if like, you were Drake, you'd be like, guys, like hack my shit, bro. But the thing is, like, I don't I put my care. I don't put my face in them, so like my dick is black, so they'll just be like, holy fuck, this black guy has a really skinny penis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, y'all. Oh god. Okay, let's go through all the fucking old Snapchats and old shit that we posted on the story. Guys, this is, I've had an embarrassing fucking day. I'll yeah, know. we're gonna continue to embarrass him on the Patreon. On y'all. the fucking Patreon, you know where it is, and we're gonna just explain all the embarrassing snaps. And you know what? We're gonna be posting all of them on the Patreon. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're, we'll just spam you with cringe snaps. shit into the story. We're gonna go through the lore uh-huh. of all the videos, and you'll get to see it in a popping group chat because on Patreon there's like this really popping group chat that oh, we yeah. use. This is, dude, let's somebody sent this to the group Morty. chat. So we posted it. That's, Who, what, what's that? What's that's that? What is Morty. That? Who's Morty? You is that the Vegas, cat's name? You know how Vegas has that ball? Yeah, what was the point in that? That's so funny. Like, I'm, somebody should hack it and put, like... Your balls on it? My balls on it. Yeah. It wouldn't even fit, dude. <laughs> Just make it my ball. Like, get a 3D <laughs> fucking model of my ball and put it on there. And then there. put it on there? This is actually a well-edited photo. Anyways. If y'all want to see... I have real... Like, I'm actually really embarrassed about these videos. So, um... <laughs> We're going to get into it. The cringe, let the cringe ensue. Beer sauce.